up, everybody? It's your girl, Sophia, a.k.a. Sophie, back here on Sophia's Football Talk to do a short but sweet match reaction for the Derby d'Italia, Juventus versus my team, Inter. Which ended in 1-1. I mean, on paper, you would assume, oh, this is going to be tasty. I mean, I saw like a promo video Inter did, I think on Twitter, with using, you know, Travis Scott's Goosebump banger featuring Kendrick Lamar. I was like, oh, okay, this is getting me pumped. I'm not going to lie. A little bit of a snooze fest. I feel like when it started to be a bit more exciting was when, you know, technically for Juve, which is now an op, Juan Cuadrado, who formerly used to play last season for Juve, now obviously plays for Inted. That wasn't very much of a welcoming, um, you know, from the Juve fans. But hey, made it a little, little bit more like, ah, I was thinking, what if he ends up like scoring or does something bad? Whenever he touched the ball, boo, 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 it was mad. But hey, hey, we had our share with uh, Lukaku when we played Roma, so it is what it is. Either way, first goal early on, we had Vlahovic, with a good goal, by the way, set up by Chiesa, okay, very good goal, I, I, I was like, whoa, okay, because I felt like Juve probably had the best start, at least from, from compared to, you know, Inted. I assumed in my live match preview that I did two days ago, I would have maybe predicted and thought, hmm, maybe Juve might be sitting a little bit back um, and Inter might be going right there in the front foot, but that wasn't the case at all. Um, I just felt like Inter didn't quite really get fully into the game, but either way, a draw is a good result. I was very happy with the goal by Lautaro Martinez, who keeps getting goals and goals and goals, assisted beautifully by Marcus Turam. I mean, that partnership, wow. Marcus Turam becoming like a, you know, free signing, a wonderful signing, 100%. Um, it just, I love that partnership. He also getting himself more and more, you know, numbers up with the assist, goals here and there. So come on, we're not taking anything away from that. And I also really liked how it all was set up by the Swiss goalkeeper, Jan Sommer. Okay, playing out from the back. Ba, 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 ba. And there we go. Come on. So I felt like that was kind of where the more exciting minutes came in the latter stages of first half because the equalizer came in the 32nd uh, minute. But I don't know. It still felt a little bit of a lethargic type of game, if we're going to be very honest. But we do need to remember, both of these two teams have incredible defenses in terms of, okay, right now I believe it might be, wait. So prior to this game, it was 13 goals between us. Now it would have to be 15. Uh we concede less goals out of everybody in the league, both of us. So I definitely didn't expect this to be a goal fest. Not at all. Not at all. I predicted 1-0 win to um, Inted, but we got a draw. And you know what? Maybe, but personally, probably a draw would suit us a lot more as we are the one in the front seat. We're still at the top of Serie A trying to get that Scudetto, so, and Juve are the ones chasing us. I mean, the next game, obviously, is going to be against Napoli away, so that'll be an interesting game. I'll definitely, will do a live match preview for you guys then, as well as a match reaction after the game next weekend, but it'll be interesting how we progress. I mean, at least when it comes to, I know we have, of course, Champions League, but we're, we're, we're kind of more so through Already will be playing, I believe, Benfica. But it's at least a game where we can rest a lot of players. I mean, hopefully we'll see more of the likes of Fratesi. That would be great. Maybe more of Arnautovic, uh, potentially. Because um, I do think there's certain players that, that do need to rest. Because right now we know that Champions League, once again, it's, it's under lock. Of course, you would want to win the group. But I do think that we have enough to be able to do that, in my opinion. But we have to definitely 
focus more on making sure that we get the numbers, the points that we need against Napoli next weekend. Um, but overall, I mean, like I said, didn't fully get into the game. But hey, you're taking the points. You're taking it. And that's what it is. That is what it is. Okay. I do want, of course, hear your thoughts as well in the comment section. Let me know. Make sure that you give this video here a big thumbs up. And as well, also subscribe to the channel. We are still on the road to 3K subscribers. So let's make that happen, shall we? I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be very soon. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye.